you can go from beginner to pro by watching these free AI courses. Because surprisingly, Google and Microsoft are sharing a lot of secrets for you to use. Free courses from generative AI and large language models to computer vision and deep learning. They don't only teach the fundamentals, but also how you can use cloud platforms to develop for yourself without any previous experience all completely for free. Just imagine how much more knowledgeable you'd be if you downloaded their information into your brain. So stay to the end of this video to find out which course is the best fit for you. Number one, Introduction to Generative AI by Google. This is an introductory level micro learning course aimed at explaining what generative AI is how it is used, and how it differs from traditional machine learning methods. It also covers Google's tools to help you develop your own Gen AI apps. All you need to do is join to enroll this course. You'll also get this completion badge once you've finished. Once you're on the inside, you'll see the videos in the left introduction to Generative AI Studio, course review, the reflection cards, a quiz, and a reading list. So let's just quickly take a look at this video. What is generative AI? It is a type of artificial intelligence that generates content for you. What kind of content? Well, the generative content can be multimodal, including text, images, audio, and video. When given a prompt or a request, generative AI can help you achieve various tasks, such as document summarization, information extraction, code generation. Vertex AI is an end-to-end -end ML development platform on Google Cloud that helps you build, deploy, and manage machine learning models. With Vertex AI, if you are an app developer or data scientist and want to build an application, you can use Generative AI Studio to quickly prototype and customize generative AI models with no code or low code. If you are a data scientist or ML developer who wants to build and automate a generative AI model, you can start from Model Garden. Model Garden lets you discover and interact with Google's foundation and third-party open source models and has built-in ML ops tools to automate the ML pipeline. Course number two, Introduction to Responsible AI. This is an introductory level micro learning course aimed at explaining what responsible AI is, why it's important, and how Google implements responsible AI in their products. It also introduces Google's seven AI principles. The platform looks very similar with a transcript on the right and they have introduction to responsible AI quiz. Let's take a quick look at this video. Many of us already have daily interactions with artificial intelligence or AI from predictions for traffic, and weather to recommendations for TV shows you might like to watch next. As AI becomes more common, many technologies that aren't AI enabled may start to seem inadequate. Now AI systems are enabling computers to see, understand and interact with the world in ways that were unimaginable just a decade ago. And these systems are developing at an extraordinary pace. Yet despite these remarkable advancements, AI is not infallible. Developing responsible AI requires an understanding of the possible issues, limitations, or unintended consequences. Technology is a reflection of what exists in society. Now, the next course is... Before I get into the rest of it, I want to tell you about today's sponsor, which is Careerist. If you are concerned AI is taking over all jobs, well, there are surprisingly in-demand, high-paying jobs that you can get without any prior experience or education. That's where Careerist comes in. You get online live courses designed to equip you with the skills you need in today's job market, making it simple for you to land a job in manual QA, sales engineering, UX design, systems engineering, and data analytics. As per the information on coursereport.com, Careerist is ranked among the top online boot camps, Careerist has already helped over a thousand graduates secure high paying tech jobs across 40 different states. As a licensed education provider, Careerist offers an interactive course that takes less than six months to complete. Careerist manual QA course can equip you with the necessary knowledge, career coaching, mentorship, and support. 
Manual QA or software engineering is a highly in-demand job. Salaries. What truly differentiates careerists from the rest is it's designed specifically for individuals who don't have prior technical experience, background, or education. The training is comprehensive, ensuring that each participant is well prepared to enter the tech industry with confidence. Careerist offers a unique opportunity to get your tuition money back from your very first paycheck proving just how confident they are in their course. Don't let lack of experience hold you back any longer. It's time to take action. Click the link in the description down below to save up to 29% on their special Christmas sale. Start your journey to a thriving remote career with Careerist. Thanks so much to Careerist for sponsoring this section of the video. Now, the next course is Introduction to Large Language Models. This is an introductory level micro learning course that explores what large language models, LLMs, are, the use cases where they can be utilized, and how you can use prompt tuning to enhance LLM performance. It also covers Google's tools to help you develop your own Gen AI apps, very similar to the others with an introduction to large language models reading page as well, pointing to their blogs that are about more LLM information and additional resources. There's also a quiz here at the end with four questions and you have to have a 75% passing score. Hello and welcome to Introduction to Large Language Models. My name is John Ewald and I'm a training developer here at Google Cloud. LLMs and generative AI intersect and they are both a part of deep learning. Another area of AI you may be hearing a lot about is generative AI. This is a type of artificial intelligence that can produce new content including text, images, audio, and synthetic data. Large language models refer to large general purpose language models that can be pre-trained and then fine tuned for specific purposes. Imagine training a dog. Often you train your dog basic commands such as sit, come, down, and stay. These commands are normally sufficient for everyday life and help your dog become a good canine citizen. However, if you need a special service dog such as a police dog, a guide dog, or a hunting dog, you add special trainings. This similar idea applies to large language models. Course number four, Introduction to Image Generation. This course introduces Diffusion Models, a family of machine learning models that recently showed promise in the image generation space. Diffusion models draw inspiration from physics, specifically thermodynamics, Within the last few years, diffusion models became popular in both research and industry. Diffusion models underpin many state-of-the-art image generation models and tools on Google Cloud. This course introduces you to the theory behind diffusion models and how to train and deploy them on Vertex AI. Once again, we're on the inside with a video and a short quiz. Let's take a look. Hi, my name is Kyle Steckler, and I'm a machine learning engineer on the Advanced Solutions Lab team at Google Cloud. Image generation has long been a field of interest, and there are many interesting approaches that you may have heard about. Diffusion models underpin many of the state-of-the-art image generation systems that you may be familiar with today. Diffusion models show promise across a number of different use cases. Unconditioned diffusion models, where models have no additional input or instruction, can be trained from images of a specific thing, such as faces, as you can see on the slide here, and it will learn to generate new images of that thing. We also have conditioned generation models, and these give us things like text to image, where we can generate an image from a text prompt, and other things like image in painting and text guided image to image, where we can remove or add things, we can edit the image itself. And if you think this course is cool, I can't wait to show you the course at the end of this video. Course number five, create image captioning models. This course teaches you how to create an image captioning model by using deep learning. You learn about the different components of an image captioning model, such as the encoder and decoder, and how to train and evaluate your model. By the end of this course, you'll be able to create your own image captioning models and use them to generate captions for images. That sounds like a lot of fun, so let's just start the course. Here they actually have two different videos, the captioning models overview and the lab walkthrough for you to 
actually implement it easier. Let's take a look at the walkthrough. Hi everyone, I'm Takumi, machine learning engineer at the Google Advanced Solutions Lab. After setting up the Vertex AI Workbench environment and cloning the repo following the instruction, you can find the image captioning notebook under ASL ML Immersion, Notebooks, and Multimodal. Here you go, you can find image captioning.ipython notebook. So please open this file. And here you can see all the process and instructions to build and use an image captioning model, which we discussed in the previous video. Course number six, Artificial Intelligence for Beginners by Microsoft. Explore the world of artificial intelligence with Microsoft's 12-week, 24-lesson curriculum. Dive into symbolic AI, neural networks, computer vision, natural language processing, and more. Hands-on lessons, quizzes, and labs enhance your learning. Perfect for beginners, this comprehensive guide designed by expert covers TensorFlow, PyTorch, and ethical AI principles. So as you can notice, this one is a little longer than what we've been looking at before. There is a video here to meet the team, so let's take a look. Hello. My name is Dimitri Soshnikov. I'm Cloud Developer Advocate at Microsoft. Hello, I'm Jen Luper, Principal Cloud Developer Advocate at Microsoft. Hello, my name is Latifa Bilou. I'm a Better Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador. Hi, I'm Tomomi, and I worked on the doodles for each section. An interesting thing is that artificial intelligence is not a solid discipline. It evolves very rapidly. And that's why, in addition to 24 lessons, we include the section called Extras, where we will add some new topics so that this course is constantly evolving. If you'd like to start learning with any of our curricula, they all follow the same basic outline and are licensed under the MIT license. So it's free to use as you see fit. How this AI Microsoft course has been set up is a little bit different than the others. For example, the way you begin gets you taken to a GitHub repository to start. This one currently has over 20,000 stars, 10,000 forks, and you can see that it keeps getting updated with new lessons. Definitely one worth checking out. Number seven, Introduction to Artificial Intelligence by LinkedIn. If you're a project manager or product manager or director, executive, or an AI enthusiast starting your career, you can grasp most of the key concepts in artificial intelligence. As you can see, we start with what is artificial intelligence, the rise of machine learning, common AI systems, learn from data, identify patterns, machine learning algorithms, and a lot more and you can see that each video is about three minutes long, which makes it easy for you to learn with a chapter quiz for every chapter. Let's take a quick look at the intro. Artificial intelligence systems are now finding their way into the workplace. These systems can discover new pharmaceuticals, recommend products, detect fraud, and much more. Many of those who interact with these systems will be people just like you, people in business, entrepreneurs, managers, or students. Just as managers work with software developers today, these same managers will work with AI systems and data tomorrow. So let's see what those machines have been up to in the world of artificial intelligence. So which course did you think is the best? I left a link in the description to all of them right below the subscribe button. Check out our sponsors in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.